guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional. And today we're here to review the new range of Mare's Pioneer 5mm wetsuits. The one I've got here is referred to as the she dive, which is the ladies' wetsuits in the range. The reason it's a she dive is because it's got bumps in all the right places for the ladies to make it as comfortable as possible for them to wear. The suit itself is broken down into multiple panels, making it really, really comfy. There's a big panel across the front. There's some really cool red trim across the legs over here and up the sides and then down the arms. There's a really cool she dive logo over there. That way you know you've got the she dive version or the ladies version of it. Inside the arms and the legs, we have something called glide skin. It's like a titanium paint that they've put on the inside, which just reduces the amount of water that gets into the suit. And it just makes it really comfy and super warm. Top tip from me as far as these suits and the men's suits is concerned is just to be really careful when sticking your nails into these suits and pulling them. That can sometimes damage the, this glide skin over here. Good idea is to use the old surface trick where you take a plastic packet, whether it be a Woolworths bag or a checkers packet, depending where you shop, pop that over your hands and feet and slide it in and that just lubes it through quite easily. The other thing as a top tip is to put talcum powder on the inside here if you are storing the suit for a prolonged period of time. That prevents any salty seawater or any solvents getting in after you've cleaned the suit and sticking it together which could potentially damage the, the suit itself. So let's uh, have a look at the legs of the suit. We see it's got some really cool knee pads over there, like a rubbery paint they've put over it, which will protect your knees when rubbing on the boat, rubbing against the coral, or maybe on the sand if you're kneeling down to do any skills or to check your buoyancy. Same on this leg. We can see that it's also got the glide skin on the inside of the, the legs at the bottom there. And if we flip it around to have a look at the back, the zip is gonna it's covered the whole way up with neoprene down the side. It's got a Velcro strap across the back to give a really good neck seal. It's a different type of Velcro. It's like a plasticky Velcro they've put in the top over here. That stops that abrasion uh, when rubbing against all the other stuff. The traditional Velcros tend to really damage wetsuits and scuba gear. So this is a much softer version and a finer bit of Velcro that they've put on the top. So it gives a great seal across the top over there and it doesn't damage the gear. It's got a great YKK zip at the back, good quality, which goes up and down. And they've added quite a funky little tag at the bottom here, which allows you just to hold the bottom of the wetsuit while you can pull it up. My advice, as always, is to get a buddy to try and help zip you up from the back. That'll help with the longevity of the suit so you don't strain it over the years of pulling it. Sometimes you find that if you're in a rush and you're running down to the boat, you grab and you just pull that way, you can strain the suit, which can sometimes dislodge the zip at the back. And the suppliers, unfortunately, see that as user abuse. Not just this particular suit, but that's across the range of all wetsuits. You just need to watch. So get a buddy to zip you up, arch your back, and life will be good, and you'll get many more years out the suit itself. So going around the back of the suit, you can see this all black panels, a few little bits of red trim on the inside of the, the ladies one over here. On the leg, on the right hand side over here is a little hook, and that's to hook on the free hoodie that comes with it, which I think is great. It's a Mare's hood, it's got glide skin on the outside, which can tuck into the inside of the, the wetsuit. It's got a little bit of that glide skin around the inside of the face as well. And there's lots of great little holes over here. In the old days when we first started diving, when you would swim along, air would get caught in your hoodie and you'd look like a little cone head while you were swimming around, which is a bit weird. And so what we used to do is take a soldering iron and just melt a hole in the top. It never looked great. But uh, Mara's being as cool as they are, they've got little holes there for the ears to relieve the pressure as well as a bunch of holes across the top. So when you buy the suit and you see it's full of holes, it's there for a reason. All right, cool. So that's the hoodie that comes free. That can clip onto the suit as well, which is good. You just clip that on so you don't lose it or put it on your head when you go diving. So that's the sheet off and wait for it. Here comes the men's and you know what? It looks exactly the same. So it's also black and red. We check it all out over there. Very, very similar looking suits. It says Mara's Pioneer. It doesn't have the sheet I've written down the side. That's how you know it's the men's. And this has got bumps in all the right places for men. So basic rundown of the suit is exactly the same as the other. It has the glide skin insides. The zips are the same. The neck's the same. The pads on the knees are the same. It's just the cut that's different. They look very similar. Uh, at first glance, it'd be very hard to tell the difference between the male and female unless it's on a guy or a girl. 
So there's my review of the Mares Pioneer Wetsuit. I think it's great for a majority of dive conditions, specifically around Southern Africa. Um, if you're diving in Cape Town, you might just want to put a thermal undersuit underneath, but it would probably get you through a good few dives in Cape Town. But for Durban, Sardine Run area, Transcar, all the way up to Sedwana and Mozambique, this is a great, great suit, even in warmer waters because you can always flush a little bit of cold water in to cool yourself down if you're a little bit warm. However, if you're cold, we all know there's not much that you can do, so it's always better to have the warmest suit possible for the type of environment that you're going diving in. So there's my review of the Mares Pioneer Wetsuit. The men's and what wound up down there was the, the sheet dive suit. Really great quality, value for money as far as the Mares suits are concerned, are amazing, available from our website, scuba.co.z. So if you guys are enjoying all these product review videos that we're doing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or go visit our social media streams, which is facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za. We've got the Twitters and the Instagrams and all of that as well. You can go check that out if you're keen. And if you ever want to join us on one of our trips or on one of our tours, just stay tuned to that Facebook page or go check out our website because we're going all over the show all over the time. So it'd be really great to have you guys out in a dive with us one day. So there's my review, and that's my little punt. So it's been really great speaking to you guys. That's it from me, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.